What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ray's Blaze. If you're new to channel, subscribe, do all that great stuff. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to easily import your 3D model from um, external 3D software like Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, and all that into Unreal Engine and rigging that with my easy template that I'm going to be offering for sale. Okay? Because I see a lot of people struggle with that. So it's better, you know, if I just give you guys the templates, you know, and uh, make your life easier. So obviously, um, I just have a quick animation here. Uh, I, I was just, I'm trying the destructions, you know, maybe working on some scene. I don't know, but, uh, I do like the way the chunks just like drops on the floor. It's so good. I like, I like chunks to be honest. Anyways. So if you want to import this into Unreal Engine, there's a way you have to do it. So first of all, you can't just export it like this. It will look really bad. So I'm going to go ahead to delete all this, right? And then I am going to reset the bind pose because we need that in the original pose. It is A pose or T pose. And then I'm going to go to shift tree to disable animations. And then we just want to go to FBX and export this, including textures and materials. Okay. And boom. And that's it. So this is the same procedure for other three softwares as well. So I'm going to close this because I don't want to save it. Now let's go into Unreal Engine. Now, Unreal, now this is Unreal Engine. Um, I do have um, a character uh, set up, but um, I use a template that I made myself. So I'm going to show you guys how to apply that. So what you want to do is to just drag your um, your FBX into Unreal Engine. Okay. So just when you drag that, all this will appear. And then when you click on this, you're going to have your 3D character with the textures properly done and all that. So, yo, this is, a, this is the fastest way to save time. Rather than you, you import the 3D model and then you have to add textures, which is just an, an annoying. I know. So now let's go ahead to... Um, we also have the animation as well. Look at that, right? So the animation also imported, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now the main event, which is um, the the control rig. So basically, I'm going to go to my character here. I'm going to use this template that I have here. So copy this and paste here. So now, if I offer the, my template for sale and you buy it, so the way you're going to apply it is exactly how I'm doing it right now. So just, um, you know, in case you buy it, this is what you have to do. So I'm going to rename this to the amazing. Okay. Can I give uh, amazing Spider-Man rig, whatever. Ah, can type now, huh? Amazing Spider-Man rig. Okay. So I'm going to click this and this should open all these wonderful things, right? So now keep in mind that this template also has um, the uh, morph targets as well. So in case you want to do some face animation, you can actually do that. So yeah, I, I, I put in some work trying to figuring that out. I believe it still works. Let me see. Yeah, see that? It works a little bit. It works not a little bit. It works. Uh, let's see. I'm just hoping for the day when um, Unreal Engine will become like really better in um, their, their animation tools because it's really bad to be honest. I just don't like it. Anyway, so let's go ahead to disconnect this. Go to the forward solve, disconnect that. You can actually disconnect the backward solve as well. You don't have to, but the, main, the most important thing is the forward solve. So I'm going to change this to Amazing Spider-Man Texture, uh, Amazing Spider-Man Mesh or the Skeleton. So now pretty much we have this. So if you go ahead to connect this, you're going to see a little bit of change. Let's hit Compile. So you see that he became more bigger. You can see that it actually works, to be honest. Like, look, it works. Right? So you just, you can actually use this, but again, it's sort of like messed with the shape of the character a little bit. So I wouldn't advise you do this. Okay. So um, what we need to do, the first thing we need to do is we have to click our hips here and then refresh. Okay. 
So we want to refresh all the joints into the Amazing Spider-Man joints. So that will just refresh everything. So now when we're actually connecting our um, controllers to the joints, it's going to match the exact position. So let's, let's do that real quick. So I am going to start with the hips. You just want to copy. You want to go to copy and then you want to paste global transform, which is basically control shift and V. So control C, control this. So yeah, it's pretty easy setting. I don't find it difficult setting my character with my template that is. So uh, y'all, you can get it, you can get it. I'll, I'll put it up soon and uh, yeah. Uh, so pretty much that is done there. Um, so let me go to the left shoulders as well. And I believe the left shoulder, you just have to do the same thing. Oh, the left shoulder is actually in the right place. So we don't have to do anything. Oh, not really. Anyways, you have to do it. Ah, I just got a little excited there. So, so y'all keep in mind, you have to follow my exact uh, process because if you don't, you're going to have struggles. Okay. Um, now let me go to the right shoulder as well. I'm not going to do the fingers, but basically the fingers is the same procedure. You just have to control C the actual joint and paste it in the, in the controllers. So let's do this here. Do this here. I think we've done that already. Uh, oh, oh. Control for arm and the hands. Okay, so let's do the legs real quick. Um, legs can be a little bit tricky, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, yeah, I, I figured it out already, so I don't really find it challenging. So I'm just gonna control shift V there. Then do the toe as well. And then for the for the knee, we need to actually use the left leg. So I am going to just copy this here. And then later I'll drag that out. Um, so for the right foot, do the same. Same procedure. Not too much. <clears throat> Okay, so now I just want to drag this knee pretty much outside. Just because when our character bends, we want him to lean forward. If it's in there, it's not going to work. That's why we have to drag it out. So now we just want to set initial from current. Then set initial from current. So let's go ahead to connect this. See if that works. So as you can see, it really worked properly. There was just a slight movement, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. So when we move our character, you can see that our character jumps, um, the arms move as well, you know. So this is how, you know, my template, you know, works and just pretty much easy to use, right? So, yeah. Okay, so let me show you guys something here. Um, so I actually set up um, the backwards sub, which lets you uh, manipulate animations. So say, for example, you're using a mocap or you manually animated, you know, uh, your character and you want to adjust, this can allow you to adjust. So let's, let's experiment on that. All right. So I am going to go here. Let's add a sequencer. Let's go to a beautiful environment. I'm going to try this uh, mural Australian environment. Oh, we're going to save actually. So yo, my template is going to save you a lot of time trying to figure out how, how to do that, you know. So um, y'all should be happy, man, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let me, so I can actually drag my character here. Let's see, it's looking pretty good. Sun. So let's go ahead to add a level sequencer. Let's call this whatever. And then I just want to drag my character in here and then drag the animation. Okay. 
So obviously the animation is like that, and then boom, it falls to the ground. Okay. So now, in order for you to manipulate this, I am just going to go to bake to control rig the amazing Spider-Man. Just bake this. So as you can see, that has already been baked to our our character, right? So now you you can easily just oh actually before you do that you just want to um add addictive okay so this will let you manipulate so we want to key this section right and then drag this way away here so now if i move this this is not the best but we're gonna use what we got right so i just move this a little bit So you can actually see that you can adjust and do whatever you want. So pretty much that's how I set that up, you know. Oh, and by the way, this always happens. Let me show you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can see that the, the neck is a little bit weird. So what you just want to do is to reset this, okay? And that will fix that. You can also reset the arms as well. Yeah. If you want. So pretty much. Ladies and gentlemen. This is how I use um, Unreal Engine Control Rig. Um, it's pretty easy. I don't find it difficult anymore. You know, it's just easy. Because now I can just easily manipulate my animation. I can also animate inside of Unreal Engine. Which is awesome bro you know it's like because you know when you're dealing with the environment you want to be interactive right you know what i mean so let me just let's just do a quick animation but i'm just gonna deal with the head okay so let's just say for example we just want our character to be looking in a certain way so let's play this and then maybe it's like you saw somebody let's just make him look like this all right Maybe you saw um, Gwen or whatever. Like, Gwen, what are you doing in the desert, man? What the hell? And he's still looking, though. Still looking, still looking. We can also adjust the neck as well. Let's actually adjust the neck, too. Okay. So when he crashes, I just want him to go back to look like that. And then like this as well. Yeah. So you guys can see it works perfectly, right? See that? So let let's add in um let's add in a ca a camera cuz I'm not really seeing what's going on to be honest. So I'm going to constrain my camera to my character. So let's see, I'm just going to change this to hips. Oh, I'm going to reset this, reset this as well. And I believe we can actually just rotate this. Oh, look at that. Look at that fleece, man. That's so good. It's amazing. Okay, so let's... So yeah, it's not the best. It's just I just want to I just want you guys to see the animation. That's all. So I think, yeah. So pretty much, and then you can actually animate the camera. You know. Maybe just to, yeah, something like that. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how basically you can actually do it, okay? 
So I can make this full screen and play this again, right? So let's make this full screen. See how that looks. So pretty much that's basically everything. Um, you can actually, let me put this back here. So yeah, so these are all the morphs being set up. You can actually add your own morphs if you want. So you can add extra morphs. Just use my template and um, yeah, you'll be fine. So let me know if this tutorial helped. Um, uh, I'm gonna be posting a link on where you can get my templates. So yeah, I'm glad to help. Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Wow, look at those textures. It looks so nice. It looks realistic. Anyways, take it easy and see you next time.